A lot of people are going green with their cars, their clothes, and now their babies. Old fashioned diapers are making a comeback. From going green to saving some green, this comeback is saving thousands of dollars for parents. The biggest thing was a financial decision just to add a little bit more into our monthly budget so that I could stay home um, with our third baby as well. This eco-friendly, cost-effective product is gaining popularity as the idea of cloth diapers is hitting the market once again. Cloth diapering from birth to potty training costs an average of $381, while disposable diapers cost over $2,500. But cost is not the only reason why moms are making the switch. And cloth diapering is one of those things that, like I said, is not only economical, and for some families is the only way they can afford to diaper their children, or more than one children, but it also is healthier for our babies. And I think as parents, that's the best thing that we want to do for our babies is offer them a healthy start. Disposable diapers contain absorbent chemicals that some moms want to avoid. Most disposables are bleached white with chlorine, resulting in a byproduct called dioxins, which may cause skin reactions. The World Health Organization also says they can cause a variety of health issues. A lot of parents spend a lot of time and money investing in what we feed our children and what toys they play with, but also we have the ability to choose what goes against their most delicate parts of their body. Cloth diapers have their downfalls. For moms like Sarah, she says there's still one part that is hard to get used to. The smell factor. You can't be afraid of poop. I just have to say that you can't be afraid of it because you are going to have to see it again. As an old diapering method is making its comeback, so is the money of parents with children in diapers. Reporting from Studio One, I'm Taylor Nelson. May I help you with that, Karen? One criticism of having cloth diapers is the amount of water used to clean them. It's estimated about 10,000 gallons are used from birth to toilet training.